Hey guys, Dane from Scoggin Dicky Parts Center, and I wanted to give you a little bit of a product update. Uh, this is something that was brought to us uh, by Jason from Nostrum Energy. Uh, they do a wide range of injectors and high pressure fuel pumps. We have those on online, and uh, we do a lot of data and tech sharing between uh, us and, and uh, Nostrum. And one of the things that I noticed that was really important that we needed to share with y'all was that there had been a bit of a design change on the cylinder heads uh, around 2022. Uh, that would be for like the LT2, as well as some of our Gen 5 Plus, which is gonna be the dynamic fuel management engines. So those are gonna be the ones that instead of using the little tiny plugs, they use the big plugs. Uh, so this is gonna be something that's gonna be important for you guys to pay attention to down the road. Uh, if you're going to be modifying some of these later model Gen 5 LT engines, and it's going to be all in regard to this injector hole right here. So this is our tried and true LT4 direct injection setup. So our, our direct injectors are, you know, just OEM, but everybody uses them. Anybody that's going to be doing, you know, more boost on a regular Gen 5 LT that's naturally aspirated, adding E85 or anything else like that, and still trying to keep the DI system without going to a secondary port injection setup, that's been the go-to, except for with this one, because this cylinder head has had a design change where they've gone from a seven and a half millimeter stem down to a six millimeter stem, okay? So that's a problem uh, because that, that's definitely not going to fit uh, no matter how uh, rowdy you get with it. Uh, the, so of course, you guys that are doing your own DIY builds uh, in your own garage or you guys that have shops that are getting stuff in preparation, built and ready in preparation for customer builds, trying to get the parts sourced before the car shows up or anything else like that, uh, you might need to be cognizant of this and aware of, hey, it's a 2022 and later vehicle, uh, especially now that HP Tuners has got more tuning and stuff unlocked for those, uh, you know, Global B and, and other vehicles. This is going to be something that's going to be really important for you guys to pay attention to. It's an important detail because with the way supplies are and availability, you guys know how hard it can be for finding some of the injectors and high pressure fuel pumps and other components. So it's going to be something to plan ahead for. Uh, whether you want to run something like this or not, or try to source other heads. Because here's the thing, they're the same casting. Uh, they, they didn't do anything externally to make it really evident like, oh, hey, these are, these are different heads. Uh, because the barrel from up top and everything looks exactly the same for the injector, the, the body on it. And when you're looking down on the hole, it's gonna look exactly the same. And so you're gonna have to be very, very aware of what's going on because whenever it comes down to it, you're not gonna be able to put the early uh, injectors into a later style uh, head. So uh, just wanted to give you guys kind of a, a little bit of awareness about that product change. Uh, if you guys have got questions uh, at the moment, there aren't any six millimeter, you know, LT4 injectors or anything else like that. So you're gonna be looking at an aftermarket option or just completely bypassing that, leaving the, the DI system completely stock and then going to a secondary port injection system. Uh, we'll, we'll have some video more later on uh, Gen 5 fueling. Uh, it's something that it's, it's been constantly evolving and we're in some exciting times because there's things that have been going on here as of late. Uh, people making really big power with, with uh, uh, aftermarket systems. So once again, thanks for stopping by. If you guys have got questions, feel free to post up in the comments, shoot us a message, give us a phone call, an email, uh, anything else along those lines, and we'll be ready and willing to answer your questions. So once again, thanks for stopping by, and we will see you guys next time for another tech video.